That's halfway. See, we've already passed that. Good job. So I would held on to that one. Timing is huge. Timing is the most important part here. Hey everybody, we are here for another clutch update and a couple cool things that we've gotten the opportunity to do, which is what we recommend you do with your puppies, is take them on adventures with you. Now we always watch for the vaccination aspect of things, make sure your dog's fully vaccinated, but if you have a non heavily dog oriented area where they should be good from a health standpoint, take them with you so that they can learn and they can grow and they can be exposed to life. And that is what we've had the opportunity to do with Clutchster so far. He's gone into grandma's house where she has a backyard and he can romp around and play there. That's new. He's gone to the lake with us. And that was really fun. He got the opportunity to sit on the back of the boat and he jumped in and that was not 100% expected. So we put him back up on the boat and then he jumped in again and I put him back on the boat and he jumped in again and he is 100% comfortable with water. So that's exciting. Um, it could have gone a different direction, but when you get a dog that is bred well, he has a lot of boldness, a lot of confidence, and is overall got a good uh, think tank, if you will, um, it, it makes it a lot easier on us as trainers, on you as a trainer. You're starting with something that's prepared and ready and able to overcome different things that happen to them and new experiences, and that's this guy. So his boldness and confidence got him an early water introduction, and um, that was fun to watch. Now, we're gonna move on to training session for today. Last session you saw, we had been working on some sit work, still no cues introduced. Uh, I started doing some targeting with him. He did well with both of those. We've incorporated those into different training sessions and I'm gonna show you a brief intro with that. And then we're gonna move on to starting place training. So I'm gonna go ahead and get him set down here. It is morning time and he has not eaten yet, so he's ready to rock and roll and very attentive. I'm gonna come in here, good job. You can see how much focus we have. That's one thing that I'm noticing. This boy sit good. Just starting to overlay the cue. Can I say sit and him sit? No, not at this point. He's sitting because he wants to. And this is where we can start to, we're seeing the behavior really, really, really frequently. Um, so we can start to overlay cues. That kind of behavior is I'm trying to get your attention and I need to be able to use that thinking power. He's trying to figure out what I want, what he needs to do to get the next reward. We're gonna try and utilize that to teach him place training today. So we're gonna eliminate some distractions by flipping these extra beds up out of the way. And we're gonna pull this one out here into the middle of the room for us. We are, all right. I don't want to miss any more opportunities, so I'm gonna explain this real quick. We're going to be free shaping. This process may take a little while. This session could be long for what we would typically consider the proper length of a session for a little puppy. What we're going to be doing is allowing him to figure out that this dog bed is now important. This is how I recommend you guys do it. This is how we're going to start with him now. We can mark anything that seems close, anything that's paying attention to the dog bed, or ideally not giving him cues, I'm not leading him on or pulling him on or setting him on, he's gonna figure it out on his own. Good, so that right there, you saw the second He stepped on the bed, he heard that click, and he knew right there that was important. Why? Not sure, but I know I'm gonna get a reward for it because he understands how the clicker works. Buck and Bronco again, trying to figure out maybe if I jump on him, that will work. Good job, buddy. So now he's figured out maybe this is important. Again, no real feedback from me. I want him to figure this out on his own. He says, well, it worked to stand here. Good. That, you're making this look real easy, kid. And I wanna tell you, it is real easy. 
if the timing is right. Okay, we're gonna lead him off because I want to mark getting onto the dog bed. Good, and then we'll wait. Now to begin with, I was pretty close to the bed and I need to move closer to that, but no, he said, I'm just gonna do it because I'm smart. Super, super smart. Okay, come on. Nice. Let's do another one here. Again, no feedback from me. How can I get it? Good job, kid. It's a nice clutch. Good boy. Good. I'm giving him small handfuls of food, not one kibble at a time. Whatever uh, amount of food come on, that we can give him without being disrupting to the training session, I want him to be able to eat it quickly. Momentum is huge. And the more time we spend feeding or waiting for him to crunch kibbles or treats or bigger treats, it's gonna slow down your momentum. Good, come on, come on, come on. So right now he's getting like two, three kibble. We're using Yukonuba large breed puppy food. That's what he is training with right now. Tons of focus. Good. It took one properly marked Okay, properly timed, properly marked, foot on the bed. And then he did it one other time. And that is the power of the clicker. That is the importance of charging the clicker first. The second he put his feet up there, heard that click, boom, popped right to me and went, that was important. I'm not 100% sure why yet, but where's my food? And then it took a couple seconds. He was ready to do it again. Come on off. Come on. Just leading. Okay, 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 come on. He says, nah, I'm no dummy. This is where you get rewarded now. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. How fast is he gonna go back? Has sittings worked in the past? That's halfway. See, we've already passed that. Good job. That's why we held on to that one. Timing is huge. Timing is the most important part here. Good. Come on. All right, let's go back. Good job, good job. When you have puppies, guys, and dogs, there are a couple different factors to look at, okay? Come on. You have natural ability. You have trainability. And some combination there of the above. Some dogs are really trainable, but don't have, all the, but not much comes naturally to them. Some dogs have a lot of natural ability, but don't want to be taught, don't want to learn. And then you have dogs that have both, and those are the special ones. Good. This focus is insane. Now, for anybody that is just tuning in, first of all, hit that subscribe button so you can follow along with Clutch's progress. But at the same time, um, I want to let you know we got Clutch from a kennel up in New York. This guy is from Lone Duck and Bob Owens there uh, was pretty hot to trot about the potential of this litter. And I think he uh, was rightfully so. If you're looking for a little lab puppy, I would definitely be giving him a call. That's Bob at Lone Duck in New York. Good. He's so focused, right? I got to pull him off this dog bed. Good. He's learned that is how I get rewarded. Now, we talked about previously, once we're teaching something, we only want to work on that one thing in this session. Now, he's got this behavior pretty well understood. And now what we'll need to do going forward, I'm going to do one more with him and then a jackpot. Come on. Come on. Let's get him out of here. Good. There, we'll get a bowl. Put this in. We don't have a bowl. We're gonna just... All right, big boy. Now where are you going? Good, and jackpot. Okay, so what we talked about here was that when you are working through a new behavior, you're teaching something, you only want to work on that one behavior in each individual session. Once your dog has a good understanding, like he's showing, he's shown targeting for here, he understands that. Sitting, he can do that. Place training now, 
he can go on a day, onto a dog bed. All three of those behaviors, he understands the act of doing that behavior. Now we're going to start applying the cues. So he has verbally something, a word that we can use and say, go to the dog bed, sit, come to me. And we're going to use here, we're going to use sit, and we're going to use kennel for going anywhere at all. We will, um, moving forward here, guys, we're gonna show you a session teaching him introducing that cue and it was kind of how I started in the very beginning. It's essentially overlaying the cue at the same time the behavior is happening so that you can um, start to build that association. Essentially overlaying the cue come here, bud, with the, at the same time the behavior is happening. Now, as we move forward, we'll work through these behaviors and then we need to get on to some retrieving work. So thanks everybody for watching. I'm the guy with the pink gun. This young man is Clutch, and we will see you in his next video. <music>